been a while since I did a wrestling related video, but uh, yesterday I saw Saturday Morning Slam and I've been watching a lot of the episodes now, just trying to get a feel for how the show is. And I mean, a lot of what I'm going to say is what a lot of other people say. The WWE has a lot of different shows and excess amount of them, and not a lot of them are actually good. Well, relative to the main shows. I mean, NXT used to be really interesting in the sense that it was kind of like this opportunity to get like a main event superstar to win it. But really, the only one that won NXT that was worth a damn was Wade Barrett. And now NXT is basically... This weird ass show that's not really a competition anymore, but just just an ass show with ass storylines. And I know that there's like some interesting wrestlers over there, but NXT just has no personality. It it, it really is the epitome of ass. I mean love the wrestlers and people in NXT, a lot of promos and storylines, I just can't get invested in them. They feature some of the most half-baked reject wrestlers in the world, so it's like, I might as well be watching FCW. I don't want to do that. I don't want to put myself through that. I want some big storylines that are actually worth a damn. That's why I watch Raw. That's why I watch SmackDown every now and then. That's why I can't watch stuff like NXT or Superstars. Superstars is just a bunch of matches with no storylines. Uh, at first it was worth a damn. I mean, in the beginning you had like main eventers there. And it was like, there was CM Punk versus Chris Jericho. That was really fucking cool. Before it was... A pay-per-view match you had stuff like or you had stuff like that but then they kind of made it into a jobber show where jobbers basically compete and I don't want to see that it's ridiculous it's like not worth a damn But now you have Saturday Morning Slam. And Saturday Morning Slam. Now, we basically all know, for those of us that watch Saturday Morning Slam, there, there's basically no finishers. Because finishers are usually very brutal. There's no slams, suplexes, anything that involves that kind of stuff. No submissions and no striking. So already a lot of interesting things have been taken out. It's basically a TVY show. And sometimes it doesn't make any sense because there is this one instance where Ray Mysterio was trying to show you his finisher and you couldn't see a 619 connect. It's basically him just telling you, Woo, I'm flying! This is how you do it. Anytime it shows you clips from other shows of him doing it, it shows you right before it connects to the other person. And then, basically, when he explains the high flying maneuver, it's basically, then I fall on them. Then I fall on them. Keep in mind, that's kind of like, that is an embarrassing thing to say. The first slam match and there's only one match per show is basically uh it was Kofi Kingston versus Heath Slater and that one was kind of ridiculous so it's like really a bunch of holds that's all it is and Kofi won basically by a flying crossbody from the top rope I mean, I, I think I could, like, 
handle something like that if it's a short match. But this match was that match was like it lasted a little bit. It was hold, hold, hold. It's collegiate wrestling. Without the slams or really big maneuvers. Just really, really friendly collegiate wrestling in a ring. <laughs> but seriously, a flying crossbody. And it wasn't a painful crossbody, too. It was like he kind of fell and then the, it connected to a pin. It's basically... And yeah, I guess it's like a lot of people complain that the WWE is pussy now because of all the PG shit, but the TVY shit kind of reminds me of how bad it could become. How was your breakfast today? Did you have oatmeal? That's a nice healthy breakfast. I actually did have oatmeal. That's the embarrassing part. So it's like, man, that's fucking lame. Now I know why I'm not a nostalgic person. Like, now I know why I don't look back in my childhood and think, man, those times were great. I mean, there are some parts of my life that are really nostalgic, but they're not watching anything from Kids WB besides Pokemon or Yu-Gi-Oh, for that matter. And Yu-Gi-Oh always had this looping plot, so that itself isn't that good. Sitting with Pokemon, but I guess it's something like when you're younger, plot doesn't really matter much to you. Other than that, well, that show, that show really sucked. Anyway, hope you enjoyed. Uh, oh, oh wait, I gotta go into other stuff now. I remember I have to go into other stuff. Now, the WWE has been deleting some stuff with sexual content in it. They're not deleting everything Attitude Era related, but a lot of stuff that's sexually... Like, Braun Panties match and anything Kelly Kelly did, like that exposition shit, maybe they'll delete. Because Linda has that Senate run. I mean, we all know politicians are just being politicians. That's basically it. And I think that if she gets the Senate run, and maybe they can lower the tax, and that's probably what Vince's goal is. But if it's done that way, then it's really hurting the company. Because the WWE doesn't really pay a lot of taxes. I mean, they, they would be paying 35% taxes, 34%, but... They managed to lower it down to 13% because Vince is actually pretty brilliant in the sense that he knows how to lower the taxes. There's various ways of doing it. A lot of it is funding non-profit stuff and things like that, but he finds ways. I think that lowering it down to 5% is kind of excessive, especially when you should be more worried about maintaining profits and stocks and shares since they're a corporation. Instead of worrying about the little tax part when they don't pay that much in the first place. Although I shouldn't be speaking since, like, who am I to speak? Who am I to judge? And other than that, there are, here are some things that are more hardcore than Saturday morning slam. Number one, eating ice cream with a fork is more hardcore and Saturday morning slam. Number two, not holding hands when crossing the street is more hardcore than Saturday morning slam. Number three, going on Club Penguin without asking your parents is more hardcore than Saturday morning slam. Uh, number four, eating cookies without milk is more hardcore than Saturday morning slam. Number five, riding a bike without training wheels is more hardcore than Saturday morning slam. And number six, and this is the most hardcore as it can get, sleeping without socks on is more hardcore than Saturday morning slam. I don't think the WWE is very suited for this kind of stuff. I mean, it was always a kiddie show, but 
this is just infantile. It really is. But hopefully we don't have main eventers on this show. It'd be really hard to see CM Punk, Daniel Bryan, Kane, and Sheamus, Del Rio, and all these other superstars on Saturday Morning Slam. Not even if their gimmick is really adult, but if they're... A lot of their themes and the way they work as a character is too mature. By mature, I don't mean explicit and adult, but... Like, something too complex for kids to understand. So, because the face heel thing in Saturday Morning Slam is like, this guy is mean and overconfident, that's why he's heel, and this guy is nice and fun, that's why he's face, as opposed to how it is even in PG where there's some like themes like, that make one person heal the other person a face and there's more of a complexity there's themes of right and wrong that for something as simple as wrestling as it is now just as it is now not even in tv 14 where it was still simple as hell it was still basic like conflicts but it's becoming more and more you're a meanie you're a nice fun guy and that's it's, it's becoming more and more black and white because that's more simple for kids to understand than the shades of gray where Stone Cold and The Rock were feuding with each other where Stone Cold was a face and The Rock was heel, but they were basically both doing the same excessive bullshit. What made one person a face and the other heel? Or even now with the CM Punk and John Cena storyline, what really makes John Cena a face and Punk a heel? Because... They both do some unethical shit, you can argue, depending on what your views on morality is. So again, it's kind of like, hopefully Saturday Morning Slam just stays how it is or gets cancelled. Because I cannot imagine that becoming part of a new zeitgeist if Linda continues her Senate run. Even if she fails, they'll keep trying and going ahead. Even if she passes, they'll keep trying and going ahead. So it's like, that's what I don't like about the Senate thing. It's like, in this case, unlimited terms. At least I think it is, like, Senates. So, yeah, it's kind of fucked up. Well, it's less limited in terms than a presidency, at least. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed this video this time. This is Mr. Rocket 7. Peace.